Hey students, let's talk about how to use an if statement with Carol. This is the, is there a ball exercise? And uh, this is the exercise description. It states here that if there is a ball in the first spot, move once. Otherwise, put a ball down and then move once. Carol should end up in the second column in the first row and there should be a ball at one, one. All right, so a good way to solve these types of problems with the if statements uh, that we have in Carol is, uh, is first of all, when you read these exercises, look for the word if. If you see it, then you know that obviously there's, you need to have an if statement. Also, I like to look at this and say, which actions have to happen no matter what, in which actions only need to happen under certain conditions. Well, in this particular problem, Carol has to move from the first spot to the second spot, no matter what, whether there's a ball or not, they, the dog needs to move. So that, when you know that, then you can say to yourself, well, then the move statement needs to be outside of the if statement because it needs to happen no matter what. And um, the thing that has to happen if a certain condition is true is the putting of a ball. So the put ball must happen inside the if statement. So let's go in to our editor and try to code this. Um, again, uh, over on the left-hand side, we see the quick docs and the quick docs give us all the possible condition functions we can use. And so we have to decide which of those is going to work best. And the condition really has to do uh, with whether or not there is a ball in that first spot. Remember, because the, the action we're gonna do in the if statement is either put a ball or not put a ball. So you could probably think to yourself, well, if there's no ball there, then I need to put a ball, right? So if there's no ball, put ball. And then after that condition has been checked, then I can move. So that by stating it that way, it kind of helps us solve the problem because we see that there's a no balls present function down here. And so if I write something like if no balls, present, and again, there needs to be a set of parentheses there because that's a function. Then I also have another closing paren there because that's the if statement parentheses. Then I put a curly brace, then hit enter. So if no balls are present, then put a ball. Okay, and then what we stated is that no matter what, the dog needs to move. So the move statement, therefore, needs to be outside of the if. So the things that are based on a condition go inside the if statement. Things that are not based on a condition go outside the if statement. So let's see if this will work. We hit run. Okay, if no balls present, put a ball. So the ball the, in this first world, Carol did not put a ball. There's only one ball there. It was there at the beginning. And since uh, there was a ball there, he, he did not put a ball and he just moved. But if I look at the other world, remember there's two worlds in this, uh, in this particular exercise. I can switch worlds here. In the other world, we see that Carol is there and there are no balls present, okay? So if no balls present, which is now true, because there's no ball there, then put a ball and then move. So in this case, this condition is going to be true. No balls are present. So put a ball, let's run it. No ball present, so put a ball, then move. So now we see that this code that I've just written works in both worlds. Hopefully that makes sense. This is the solution to your is there a ball exercise in Carol. Okay, here's another if statement exercise in Carol. Uh, this is called don't crash. Here's what the instructions say. If Carol starts facing down or south, turn Carol to face right or east before using the move command. If Carol is already facing right, there's no need to turn Carol before using the move command. So once again, how do we solve the problem? What action needs to happen no matter what? Well, Carol needs to move forward one. What actions need to happen only if a condition is true? Well, turning to the left only has to happen if a certain condition is true. So let's try to solve it. Okay, so we need to know which condition to use. Unfortunately, over here on the left, we don't have our quick docs uh, for this program, so we don't really know what our conditions are. However, let me show you something. Over here on the far right, 
where it says Docs, if you click that and then choose Conditions, you can see here all the different conditions that Carol knows. These docs are always available over on the right hand side. So the conditions that Carol knows, again, are all of these. So which of these would work best? Now again, we want the, the dog to move uh, if she is facing to the right, which is east. So um, let's see, what could we do? So looking through our list here, there's a couple ways we could do it. We could say if not facing east, okay, because again, we only want to turn if the dog is not facing east. So we, inside the if statement, we put the conditions, um, or we put the things that we want to have happen only if a certain condition is true. So if, she, if the dog is not facing east, Okay. And again, remember to put those all the correct uh, parentheses and curly braces. If the dog's not facing east, then we would turn left, right? Um, and then again, the things that we want to have happen no matter what, we put outside the if statement. So no matter what, we want the dog to move forward one spot. So let's go ahead and test this. Run it. All right, that seemed to work. Let's check our code. Perfect, everything works in both worlds. Let's check both worlds. So there's two worlds, one's the facing right and one's the facing down. Let's choose the facing down world. Let's see if it works in this world as well. Okay, so let's run it. Perfect, it worked. Now, in this instance, when the dog was facing down, we, if we ask the question, if not facing east, well, this condition, not facing east, is true because the dog was facing down which is south. So this was true, so the dog turned left, and then after the if statement, it moved forward. So once again, this condition will work no matter which world you're looking at. In the first world, the dog is already facing east, so this not facing east is not true, so it doesn't turn, it just moves. Earlier I stated there's more than one way to solve this problem. Can you think of another way to do it? Let's take a look at our docs again. We see here there's also a condition facing south. So what if we said, if facing south, then turn left. Otherwise, just move. Let's test it. Again, this condition would be particularly helpful in the facing down world where the dog is facing south. Let's run it. It works. If I check my code, we see that I get all green. Again, everything's working great. So we can use either one of those conditions in this program and it will work. When you're done with everything, uh, all your coding, remember, you always wanna check your code here with the purple button to make sure everything's green. And then if it all is, then save your work and submit and continue. Thanks for watching.